crazy bingo shy. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. <laughs> so this video is starting off a little different than usual. Um, I have a dog on my lap and uh, it's making things a little bit difficult. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, so it's been a busy week. I hope you all had an incredible Christmas and are having great holidays at the moment. Um, I've been relaxing with family, I've been playing a lot with Milo, and um, today the parents ain't here and I'm currently filming this. Um, so he's sort of clinging to me today. Um, so it's been a while since he's been on the channel and as pe if people are old on this channel or been old subscribers he's a lot bigger than he used to be <laughs> so he's an old boy now okay Violet thank you anyway today we're going to be watching the book of Boba Fett episode one uh what's the title of the episode oh it's just good chapter one that's nice <laughs> but um I'm super excited for this show guys um I will say that um even though like I've obviously watched the movies with Boba Fett and stuff like that I still don't know too much about him. Obviously, I know he's the son of Jango Fett, and he has the slave one, and he has a rivalry with Han Solo, stuff like that. And obviously, he was in The Mandalorian, and he's a sick character. He's amazing. Um, but I'm hoping here we find out more, obviously, about him, his past, and obviously, the reason why he did disappear, which is falling into the Sarlacc pit, I'm pretty sure off by heart. Um, and how he survived because obviously a lot of people are like how did that happen? How did he survive? Did someone save him? Did he save himself? I'm guessing we're gonna get a lot of answers in this show. We haven't gotten a lot of like information about all the episodes. This is the good thing about the like the this is what they did with the Mandalorian. They only showed I think like two or three episodes in the trailer and then didn't show the rest of the show in any of the trailers. So I'm hoping that's the case with this because so it's very exciting. But anyway, enough of that. We're gonna jump into this and we're gonna watch this because I'm super excited. I just hate because I was up, don't even ask why I was up at 3 a.m. but I was up at 3 a.m. and I checked my Twitter and it was like, Shiby, the chapter one has released. And I was like, of really? Of all the shows? Like why does this one have to come out at 3 a.m.? But anyway, we're gonna jump straight into it. <sighs> I'm excited. <laughs> But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Is that a Bacta tank? Oh! Already? Oh my god! <gasps> Camino! Oh god, that's so gross. Uh. Oh, oh my god. I love how this is just answering all my questions immediately. <laughs> oh, they took his armor. Yes. Now I'm remembering from the Mandalorian. Shit. I won't lie, I feel really bad for Boba. Like, especially, like, his story is so, like, he's such an awesome character, but he's so tragic as well. Cause just cause he's gone through so much. Like, with his dad, and then, if you guys watch The Clone Wars, you see, like, his backstory sort of unfold there. And during his young days, how he tries to go after Mace Windu. And then eventually just, like, becoming, obviously, Boba Fett. Famous bounty hunter and helper to the Empire, but then, like, to this, it's just heartbreaking. Ooh, oh, that's the thing he uses, isn't it? In the, in the new season? Oh, in the Mandalorian. Oh, Jesus. Oh! He's just toying with him at this point. <laughs> Uh, I know this is good. Yeah. Oh my god, yes, this is just easy. Before we get that, I know this is a very intense scene. But I love how they're showing, like, in comparison, 
Um, but also parallel to sort of what happened previously. They're paralleling it to sort of like show like what he was before and what he's come to now. Like he was at rock bottom after being drawn into a Sarlacc pit. And now he's like, he's come back as Boba Fett with his armor and has taken Jabba the Hutt's um, throne. It's pretty sick. And just, yeah, he's so cool. Oh, he looks like oh. <laughs> we were told the mayor was coming to pay tribute. Indeed, yes. With apologies, I understand how one might draw such a conclusion. A welcome and regrets that he's been drawn away by pressing matters, milady. Milady. Such insolence to Java. He'd have fed you to his menagerie. Apologies. Apologies. <laughs> I wasn't carried on the litter. I walk on my own two pages. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, Burba. Oh. I feel like Boba gets really severely, like, affected when he's injured, um, due to, like, what happened at the Sarlacc pit. So I think it must have, like, really damaged the, like, his organs, so now, like, every time he gets injured, he's like, I need to go to the back to tank! <laughs> oh, oh, heck yeah, queen! queen. Oh, oh my god. god. Yes, queen, get him. You got it. Nice. I love it. I love it when they do more hand-to-hand -hand combat in, like, Star Wars stuff. No, Boba! Yeah, so I'm guessing he's, like, really affected. Like, his whole body must be, like, really damaged. God, it's so ugly. <laughs> Even now he's like exuding his confidence as Boba. I love it. Even without the armor, he's still so confident and just like... Oh, you ass. Oh. Jesus! What is that? Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god! Jesus, just break the chain, dude. Oh! A centaur, but it's weird. Ugh. It's so cool, though. Uh. Oh, heck yeah, Boba! Oh my god! Oh, 
Oh, that was terrifying. Oh, heck yeah, Barba! Oh, the leader seems to know or recognize his skill. Heck yeah, Barba! Artwork. Wait, is it gonna be the artwork? Okay, just in case, double checking. Um, what a great opening episode! I know that they're trying to obviously give a lot of context and stuff, put everything into perspective about what's happening, but they did it really well for a first episode. It's very much like the first season of The Mandalorian, um, sort of setting everything up. I think it'll take like at least two to three episodes to set it up, and then obviously we'll have the rest of the show. I think there's seven episodes this season, so. It'll set everything up and get it. I think after the third episode, it should be like, everything should be set up, the world will be explained, and then we'll sort of head deeper into the storyline of Boba Fett and Fennec. So it's going to be interesting to see where this goes. And yeah, I loved this episode so much. There was a lot of action, and there's a lot of context in terms of the past, of what happened with Boba, and how he escaped the Sarlacc pit, and... That was great. I loved that. How they showed all that. And he was in the back to tank, obviously. And then he was dreaming about everything. I love that that's sort of connected instead of them just showing flashbacks. I love that there's a reason why he's seeing it plus we're seeing it. So we're sort of seeing it from his perspective. And sort of like what I was saying before um, with Boba being wounded. I think because of everything that happened with the Sarlacc pit and sort of like, I think the strain that occurred right after as well like he hasn't been able to get help for probably the wounds that he has internally but also outside of his body um so i think like even now in his older age where he's at this stage where he, you know he is sitting on the throne of jabba the heart it's his now but obviously with them being attacked it shows that i think a lot of wounds affect him heavily because again like his body still is recovering from all that sort of trauma and like all that damage that it took so Obviously now it's just any time he gets injured he needs to be put back in a back to tank to be taken care of otherwise it it'll get worse. Um, and that sort of and that makes me feel bad for him but at the same time I love that that's that detail they're showing like he actually can't take as much damage as he used to but also I think it's because it is electrical so yeah that is very painful. But I'm excited to see what he does to the guard when Fennec gets into the next episode, comes back with him in the next episode. That's going to be interesting because obviously he said he wanted him alive and he doesn't want to be like Jabba the Hutt, he wants to be different. But obviously he does have to set an example, especially because I guess this is an empire built on violence, threats and corruption that he has to not fall into those ways but he has to learn to sort of stand out from the rest and show that this can be a new way of leading and he already is like he's obviously showing like he doesn't want to be paraded around like some king he wants to walk on his own two feet and do the talking himself he doesn't want other people to do the talking for him and I, I love that sort of quality about Boba and his personality it obviously is showing that he's very confident in his own skills and qualities but also it's showing that he's keen to create a different lifestyle for these people who are obviously used to the corruption and corrupted ways um, of old so now he's like no I want to step in and change things so that's gonna be interesting to see how that progresses in the story I think for the first episode it was a little bit slow paced um, but I think that sort of helps it because it is sort of like I feel like this is a little bit like of an introduction it's obviously again placing the context of what's happened previously and what's happening right now and I guess we're gonna find out soon like how it's going to progress and how we're moving forward with Boba's story. Like are we going to sort of focus on how he's he recovered from the Sarlacc pit and what happened in between that time or is it going to be like Boba's dealing with a lot of his past which is a lot of tragedy, a lot of his wounds and also dealing with the fact that he's now the leader of this empire and has to stand up and be a leader. So that's going to be interesting and I, I love it already. This is such a great vibe and it's so I love the difference this has to 
to Mandalorian. You guys know how much I love Mandalorian. And again, I have to thank you guys of my subscribers because like, that's still my most watched video, the last episode of season two, which I mean, it was phenomenal. It's one of the best episodes of any show that I've ever watched. So thank you guys constantly for like supporting that episode, like constantly, you guys are the best. Um, but yeah, Mandalorian is on a different level because now it does have two seasons, but I feel like Boba Fett's already standing out a lot because obviously again it's Boba Fett and it obviously it, it, and it, he is a more established character than Din Djarin um but he's still also in sort of like Din he's very much in mystery you don't know everything about him and I like that I don't want all the cards on the table straight away I want to unravel his story and find out what's going on so I'm excited to find out more about him throughout the story and maybe even delve into more of the sort of like the the tragedy of his father and sort of dealing with that and grief and even like how that's affecting him right now as a leader like w like is he gonna ever like talk about his father? That's gonna be interesting. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the first episode of Boba Fett Chapter 1, A Stranger in Strange Lands. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the episode. But, but yeah, this is the last video for 2021. And we are, and this is pretty good. I, I was gonna say this at the beginning, but I thought I'd leave it for now. Like this is a perfect way to end the year with Star Wars because I think next year, like, this year was Marvel's year, next year is Star Wars, because it's like, we've got, um, season two of The Bad Batch, for a second I couldn't remember, we got the Obi-Wan show, and we got Mandalorian in season three, which is hopefully next year, um, people are sort of thinking that's gonna be 2023, um, which is fine with me. It gives more time for it to breathe. Um, what else is coming out? I feel like I'm forgetting a lot of shows at the moment. Oh, um, shit. What's his name? Andor. That's what I was trying to remember. I was like, oh, it starts with an A. Oh, I had to look, look it up real quick. Um, but yeah, that's coming. I'm pretty sure that's coming out next year or the year after. But yeah, we've got a lot of Star Wars shows coming out next year. Of, in, in two days, literally. <laughs> I'm so excited. We still haven't had a trailer for the Obi-Wan show. I know that they're trying to just, like, you know, hold back as much as possible. Especially, and I sort of like it too, because obviously they do want the other shows to shine. Especially with Boba Fett. Boba Fett's happening now. I think right after Boba Fett finishes, or maybe towards the end of this show, they're going to show the Obi-Wan trailer, because that's going to be huge they know it's gonna be huge that's gonna be like the biggest hit i think for the star wars shows and i'm super excited for that that's gonna be so good but yeah what a way to finish the year guys with this reaction i'm so excited for more boba fett literally next year next week <laughs> so again thank you guys so much for watching this and i'll see you guys in the next video crazy Mangle out Woo!